Hello and welcome to Fresh Web Dev, your source for anything in web development and web design news, tips, and tools. I'm Dan. And I'm Scott. And today we're going to talk about gradients. Yep. <laughs> Specifically CSS3 gradients. Yeah. Yeah. And, and for those of you guys who aren't familiar with what gradients are, maybe you don't use Photoshop that often, or, or maybe you're just kind of new to the, the development uh, world here. Um, a gradient is basically sort of a color, but it's a, it's a combination of two colors and they sort of blend into one another. Yep. Uh, they come in two forms. There's linear and there's also radial. Yep. So linear sort of is just like the one line down to the other line. And then radial kind of goes from the from, from outwards or from inwards, and it's a more circular looking color. Yes. So like a nice bright bloom in the middle of a page um, to bring attention to something or, or what have you. Yeah, or they actually go well with the CSS3 buttons we talked about last week. You so. got it. You got it. Very cool. <laughs> yeah. And and you're going to talk a little bit now about sort of, you know, why we're going to use CSS, CSS3 gradients and things of that nature. Mm -hmm. So the reason you'd want to use CSS3 gradients is because um, you used to have to create the gradient within an image editing program, okay. Photoshop, GIMP, right. something like that. And then import it into the page. Yep, and it, it'd be an HTTP request mm -hmm. that oh, the page boy. would have to process. And what does that mean? Longer page load. So CSS3 gradients, they allow you to create gradients right within the browser, and they're rendered on the fly, and the load times are a lot faster. Oh. Um, but you can also specify a fallback image for browsers that don't support CSS3 gradients yeah, yet. Okay. Uh, and the good thing about browsers that do support them is mm -hmm. they don't parse that fallback image. So you still get rid of that HTTP request and it just oh, makes cool. your page load that much faster. Now, now you talked about browsers that do and don't support. Mm -hmm. So give, give me an example or give us an example of, of, of what, what you mean by that. Okay, so pretty much every current browser, um, Firefox, Google Chrome, Safari, except for Internet Explorer, <laughs> support CSS3 gradients. Go figure. Um, for Internet Explorer 9, which is the current version, you have to do uh, a little bit of trickery. Like a you workaround. Have to, yep, there's a Expert filter um, sure. property that you have to set. Mm -hmm. Although IE10, which is the next version slated to come out, will support CSS3 gradients. So... Um, yeah, there's oh, cool. support across the board. So it's something that isn't quite completely finished yet at this point, or technically in addition to it, but it's going to be very shortly. Yes, it, it's it. it's in the CSS3 spec, yeah. yep, but it's not officially released yet. Released yet um, for us. So, so you do have to use the browser prefixes, cool. Cool. Um, which you, you, know, you append to the properties themselves. Awesome. Now, you were talking about sort of fixes, workarounds, things like that, and I understand that you actually have a couple different examples or a couple different resources that you can use yes. to sort of make it an easier process to add gradients to your website. Definitely. So the first one is a website, uh, CSS Tricks by Chris Coyer. Cool. A great CSS resource uh, for web developers, whether you're beginning um, or more advanced. Uh, this particular article talks a lot more in depth about CSS3 gradients. Okay. It talks about the browser prefixes, it talks about linear and radial gradients, okay. uh, as well as a few other features. And, so and so more. great informational resource. Yep, awesome. definitely. Awesome. Yeah. awesome. And then um, we also have uh, Colorzilla, yep. correct? We have a gradient editor. Um, and Colorzilla makes extensions already for, for Firefox and, and, and whatnot. Yep, so they're a company that, that has made at least one extension cool. um, yeah. for Firefox yeah. and, and Chrome. Enough to be on the board, right? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and, and they've come out with this gradient generator. It's my favorite, my personal favorite cool. gradient generator. It's set up pretty much just like Photoshop. So if you're familiar with Photoshop or GIMP, right. um, the gradient editor... They've set it up right within the browser to look just like Photoshop. Yeah. Uh, the way that you create your gradients, right. it's virtually the same. I, t I took a look at it with you and I was amazed at how, how simple it was. You know, you pick the color just like you would in Photoshop. It looks just like the toolbar for gradients in Photoshop. Yes, it does. And then it imposes that code for you, copy paste. Definitely, yep. And they, they even offer the IE9 support where they generate the filter code for you. Right. And all you have to do is check a box. Yep. And it's, hey, there it is, there, there it is in IE9. Yeah, and then you copy paste and you're good to go. Cool, any other? Um... Uh, there is another gradient generator okay. that I found uh, by Damien Galarza. Oh, okay. And um, it's uh, similar to Colorzilla. I feel that um, Colorzilla uh, may relate to our viewers a little bit better because okay. it's right. looks more like Photoshop and right. GIMP, but you get the same exact features that you do uh, with the Colorzilla. Awesome, just in a different interface. Yeah, different interface. Cool. Yeah. So choices, choices, choices. I know. <laughs> hmm. Well, uh, 
Thank you, Scott, for uh, for showing us kind of the the what the know how and the what how for CSS three gradients. It's really cool stuff. Anytime. If you guys want, yeah, if you guys want more information about sort of you know how to make your website better, how to develop a little bit smarter, make your page load faster, you can go to slocumstudio.com slash subscribe to subscribe to all of these videos as well as our other video series like Press This, Press That and our uh, upcoming SEO lunch uh, segments. Uh, thank you so much.